friends welcome to our channel so in today's video we are going to see how to check the backup consistency or you know doing the restore and the question comes like why it's important because I'm thinking I'm giving the simple example I got a request from the business that uh, they want urgently they want uh, production backup to get restored on the quality and it it's urgent like they don't have much time to spend on it so we know that we have to take the backup then copy that backup to the respective system like you know target system like quality or sandbox so I did the same thing I took the backup then I moved that backup to the quality system before that all the pre checks I did all pre steps I did so while restoring the backup I got an error so it, it, it was like related to the uh, backup files or related to the backup consistency or you know files backup files are damaged so my situation is now that already I lost time for taking the backup then moving the file but I forgot to check the consistency so I lost nearly three to four hours for doing this all the activity so now the timeline got extended so now the question we will come on our top topic this this um, you know that was the example so now we will come on our topic that how I can avoid in future such kind of mistakes so there is just one way to avoid it that is now onwards I will check the each and every backup file before it moving to the target system for the restoration so now the question is it possible to restore so now the question is that is it possible to check the consistency of that particular files so the answer is yes it is possible to check the backup file before recovery so for this purpose SAP provided two Linux tools first one is HDB backup check and the second one is HDB backup dig so now the question comes might be comes in the mind that from where we will get that tools so don't worry these tools get installed when we install the HANA database so it comes with the database software so now we will see one by one so our topic is HANA database backup check consistency check so as I said the first tool is the first tool is HDB backup then check we will see what's the use of this uh, HDB backup check tool or program and where and how we can use it so let's now check on the OS level so now we are at OS level the current directory is the backup directory where the backup is stored and the user is SID ADM okay you see the backup means the backup files those are available with us so let's check so a simple command we have to type HDB then backup then check okay so after that we have to provide the syntax so syntax there are different syntax we have first one is V which is for the display all known information P, P we use you know for a specified directory for the protocol files and T is for enable tracing so this is the you know syntax so we are going to use V to get the full information about the backup file so now we will take the first backup file and enter so now we can see with this command the information which we now you know 
received that related to this file backup file is first of all this file is for the index server okay the service name is index server and the information which is you know there in this file is we can say that is the topology so this basically file is containing the information about the topology of the index server so we will clear this and we will now check the second file so again the information is that service name is access engine so earlier was the service name was index server now this is for the access engine okay so this backup file is storing the data or the information about the access engine data about the access engine we can see information here source information is database snapshot for the access engine now the third one the last one which is there we will now see the information in this file so now the information that is the service name is sorry so now the third one which we executed okay so the service name is index server okay and the information which is there is database snapshot so basically it means that this file is storing the information about the index server data okay and the finally if we see at the end of the execution it giving the statement that backup so and so is successfully checked means these files are you know valid for the restoration so now i'm confident that if i have to restore you know the production data from uh, to the uh, quality so these files i can use because these files are uh, you know no, uh, these files are not damaged and these these files are valid to use okay so this is the use of the first tool and if you want to get more information about this backup you know hdb backup check uh, so please refer the sap note 18691119 okay so you will get the more details information about this index and the uh, other information related to this program okay so now we will check the second program or the tool we can say that is the hdb hdb backup dick check so the again the same question how we can use it where we can use it so again let's go at the os level so i want to provide some information about this program so as we saw that the earlier tool you know help us to check database backup you know whether it's valid or not similarly uh, it help us like earlier tool help us to understand the you know the backup status backup correctness so now this tool is basically going to help us if we want to restore the backup so the the backup whether the backup is valid undamaged and the log files related to this backups backup are available or not so this information we will get from the uh, this second tool so now just see os level how we can use it so just type that simple command that is the hdb backup sorry it's, it's together backup dick then check and the you know the option which we have to provide here that is the d is for the location so our location is uh, ana backup then 
we are in data and then the location and just click on enter so now it will search for the file so now here we can see that it given the information about the backup file which latest backup file which we can use for the restore but it not provided any information about the log file so what's the reason behind it so let's see so the reason is that because there is a no log file database log file log backup is available after this backup so then this this file is you know catalog so we can't use it so that's the reason is just given us you know information about the latest backup it not given us information about any log file so one another important thing once we run this uh, you know program hdb backup dig so it create one log file which we can see here and the if the backup files you know is correct or valid or you know un, uh, undamaged then it will provide the output that is the zero value that is a zero just we will, we will see it so here we can see that so it provide the you know return code that is a zero it means that this is the valid backup files backup which we can use for the restoration basically this program you know indicators or show us which backup catalog here we can see you know used here we can see the backup catalog number backup catalog is used so which backup are required here also we can see which backup are required for the necessary recovery and for which backup are the check where either successful or failed so basically all this information we get from the this program and another thing is that if the checks for all backup you know all backups required for the recovery were successfully successfully completed then it provide the return code 0 as we can see because here it's successfully completed and if it's failed then it provide the return code that is the one okay and to get the more information about this program or tool please check the SAP node that is a 18 seven three two four seven so in this both SAP note you will get you know details information about this programs these programs if you like please subscribe to my channel share with your friends please stay home stay safe thank you bye bye